okay hello hello So my sound is coming and it is Hmm. So finally, check. So finally, check. Okay. Now for. The streaming is 20 seconds late as I have just started this stopwatch here and it's 20 seconds late. Now I can get started with the live screen recording and I can see myself doing it. Now I know that it is going live. Uh, I'm not supposed to open that window and I have to mute myself here. Okay. So I'm seeing my watch there right now. And my screen says video is unavailable. Please use keyframe frequency four seconds or less. Okay, keyframe frequency. Where is that keyframe frequency? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Edit. Okay, I'll edit my title here. And what I'll say is going. So in this video, I am going live on using a using a stand alone Mac. So I'll just correct some grammatical errors there. So in this video, oh, I'm going live on YouTube using standard long Mac with OBS software. So this is what I'm doing right now. And let me just turn on these lights as well. And I'll be back after I turn on that. It's good to me.
pick OBS software I'll save it and concurrent viewers is one that is myself and please use key frequency per second or less I want to have some more use uh, please use keyframe frequency per second or less currently keyframes are not being sent often enough to stop buffering the current keyframe frequency is 8.3 seconds no digestion errors can cause incorrect GOP group of picture sizes so where do I set the keyframe in OBS software where is the duration 300 milliseconds Mm, let's see. I'm sending 30 frames per second. Is it creating any kind of help? I don't know. Okay, so uh, this is uh, Xcode. Where's it? Okay, I'm opening it from my Google Drive. I should be doing uh, now so this is how we go live people out there if you can see me so here I'll just open something uh, called handwriting okay so let's use handwriting it's an code shared by Apple for Share by Swift for the machine learning. So here we have a model, machine learning trained model. This is uh, let's see what we can get here. I by four eleven inch. Let me run it in there. So these codes are basically shared by Swift open source AI, and here we have a. Uh, uh, canvas for drawing the image and we send the image over the network and so we have touch handling for the uh, card that handles the touch event touch input event touch input event as I said earlier and this is how we do it so there are lots of code i'm not going through each lines and explaining what's going in here because i'm even unaware of it so there are some classifications part we have succeeded we have built it successfully i private function display output label and so there are like 380 lines of code Hmm, let's see. So we have main view dot swift. Okay, main view dot swift uh, handwriting import UI get class UI view main class main view UI view of type UI view, right? So we have navigation bar is equals to UI view, the title label equals UI label. So these are all constant, and we have canvas here, instruction label. So is this is the iPad coming soon? No. So we have canvas, container, shadow view. Let's see what this shadow view is by holding option key. A white image view with the rounded corners and a slight shadow. Okay. So let input title label, UI label, convenient integer self integer frame zero configuration configure sub views oh it's too dark now i think the issue is gone to import that particular problem i got something here In the earlier video I made this days ago, I had this. Now you see me. So we have title label the text, we have Swift AI title label text color of white. 
So here is the iPad. And let's bring it somewhere on the side. Let's resize this. And this is the application. Okay. Now we have some subviews for the appearance, private function, configure subviews, background color, UI color, dot size, extra light gray. What is this? Size extra light gray. It is is it of something for shadow? Static function, size extra Larry alpha, CG float one, retains UI color. Parameters are alpha and we have no description. Declared in colors dot swift. Okay, it's a type of color with an alpha value. So we have some instructions. Sketch a digit from zero to nine. It's a label. And we have text color of UI color dark gray. We have instruction label font, UI font, and so the camera here is on my OBS software to have rounded corners. How do I do that? Hmm. Your skill five point eight four into by one five cubic minus five. Hmm. Remove the name set color copy folders. Add what do I want to add here? No, window browser search filters property. I don't know. So we have our iPad here, and let's make this application full screen. And it says Swift AI. You can see it. This is the text that it is referring to. And sketch a digit from zero to nine. This is this one. So we have white color, system font of size seventeen. And label text alignment dot center, so it is aligned in the center. And we have sketch a digit from zero to nine. Instruction UI color dark gray. So if I draw something here, so it's not a complete circle. So it's confident that it's ninety eight percent zero. So what if I write something? Okay, it doesn't understand anything other else number. So we have <laughs> so this model is not that accurate as you can see it here. So how I got this model, right? So I got it from GitHub. Uh, where is it? So let's see in my history. Don't reopen it. I don't want to use Chrome because it takes a lot of my processor. Okay, so the Mac is slowing down, huh? Let's go to history and I'll get today. Mm -hmm. So was it it? Search ML kit, ML kit iOS. So this might be the one. Overhaul switch. No, it's not. No, it's not. So it's AI. Yes, this is the one. Neural net handwriting iOS. So it has got 114 stars. I'll just start it and we have so i'll just park it here where should we park the neural net uh roman is fine and it should only take few seconds it says okay so we have one branch and What I have done here is that uh, handwriting as a process, we have all everything is in here. And what I want to do is 
oh, people might have already forked it, right? I didn't even watch that. So I'll just some upload some files here. And these files are in my handwriting.ios downloads. Where is it? Oh, it's it's not not in it's not there. Because I opened it directly from Xcode, right? So I better do mm, so in Finder. Where is it actually? So it says it's in my drive. Okay. Now I can go here. Find the window. I can go to Google Drive. Where is the next code 2019? And this is the one, right? So I just want to drag it here, the whole file. The file is hidden, it says. Okay. So we have Xcode project file dragged over here. <laughs> Why isn't it coming? Maybe it because maybe it's because it is being downloaded from the cloud Google Drive. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I have really slow internet connection as it seems in here. And I have these lights coming in my face directly. So I can have something done with it. Okay, so let's stop the broadcast for here because I wanted to show then uh, to fork it and just upload the new version of it that was compatible with the Swift 5, Swift 5, which I had done it earlier. There was not much thing to do. I just converted some renamed modules or the renamed terminologies for the Swift 5, and that were nothing much other than inserting a dot instead of a camel case letters it was like ui styles bar bar style light content it was a single one and and then the new in suite 5 it addressed it with a dot that was all the things i had gone through so not much to edit here or commit here uh, everything works fine as we have seen it here working live so what's going on here is uh, it is let's see so here is the neural net and there are many switch files different switch files with hidden goals and activation you see this so we have data set as well Some validation labels, validation inputs, and all those. So, this video is about uh, using the obvious. For, so, this is how I set it up. So, I had this scene, and then I added some video capture device, and it accessed my FaceTime camera. That is this camera, as you can see it. And now, I think this is working pretty fine here and but it is coming really late on my other device where i'm watching it so this is the display capture that captures my whole screen if i click on the i button it will just make it invisible and thing will go boom you see that and i have something for mic or auxiliary so this one is to take the input from the microphone and i have a microphone by my side so this is the microphone I'll just get it out from the window there and what do I have here is so these three things and we are going live so this is my Xcode I can just quit it and I can just stop the tasks from running in this iPad so I have a full-fledged iPad right here and 
let me see if I can read news from. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can open Apple News in this iPad as well. And it's working, right? So what if I play a music? Uh, Kose Katara by Albert Ross. What will happen? Uh, Katara by Albert Ross. It's an ego. What will happen? So you are not hearing the I might have to go here, add some media source audio. So you are not hearing the capture. No. So I have some media source and local file. I'll just mute that device there. Is it so? I'll just remove this media source with S. Yes, yes. Window capture text, uh, scene, media source, Jack, input, client, image, slideshow, image, display capture, browser, audio output capture. So it might be audio output capture. Let's see what devices do we have. Nothing much. Hmm. So what to do if I want to uh, play the music? So there might be some way of doing it. Uh, we will capture VLC window source text, uh, scene media source. It should be in the media source because it sounds familiar with the media. So how to how to broadcast a uh, music player music by OBS music displayer this course is no longer going to allow users to make their streamers who want to display their music on the stream Okay, studio to how to play music and Skype audio. Adding a music player on stream. So this might be helpful. Guess how to play music when I try to stream with OBS. Okay. Let's start with Reddit and dig it up. Uh, Twitch. How do I play music when I try to stream with OBS? I've seen streamers play games at the same time. Music plays in the background. Now I know that Spotify is one method to do that. But Spotify is not available in my country. I've seen two streamers use plug.dz their music and I'd love to know how to do that in some way. So I just got music player like iTunes. So yes, I got iTunes too. OBS will stream out the audio if anything that is coming out of your audio source set in OBS. Just to make sure music is quieter than your mic. Be warned that you should not be streaming your music you do not own as you are broadcasting it to the masses which is against the law almost everywhere. While you can get away with it for a while, as soon as you get reported, it could bring a huge heap of trouble. So try looking up for some creative calm music on YouTube or online. It is license free. Audio set to my desktop audio. So settings, audio set it to the audio source you want. So I am in OBS settings. Where is it? Settings. Come on, come on, come on. We have audio here. So, desktop audio device. We don't have an enable option there. Mic auxiliary, enable to push to mute. No. Audio, set it to audio source you are. So, settings audio and set it to the audio source you are. Audio and set it to the audio source you are. What does it mean? So, oh, okay. no, 
when I go to desktop audio devices default on my mic do I use default default just means that you're using computer's default audio source that the one with the tick next to the playback devices so again I, uh, you under the audio there's such a tick box saying force microphone aux I believe currently not home so I can't check I'm 100% certain it's under audio or advanced basically on ticket basically on ticket automatically reconnect Re recording stream delay so duration is 20 seconds okay so we have here we can is preserve cutoff point increase delay when reconnecting okay 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 so if I enable it so we have 20 seconds lag here so it, it was already there file formatting is CCY okay I'm fine with it now hotkeys maybe shortcut keys so I should be able to play some audios here audio meter decay rate fast peak meter type uh huh channels so studio is fine and everything is disabled no oh, idea so this didn't help okay so it's been 27 minutes wow I'm live in front of this world whoa the quality might not be that good the content might not be that good but I'm feeling good <laughs> Okay, man, let's go ahead. Okay. Okay, it's under the Windows section, right? So, window capture, and I'll say it. music player. I hit okay. So, window, we have what do we have here. Desktop menu bar. No, man. I want iTunes. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, come on, come on. So it's open right here, and the music is playing. Creative Cloud, Talk Feature, uh, Stream. No, no, no. Bluetooth, Battery, Notification, Siri, Menu Bar, Desktop, Menu Bar, Desktop, Desktop. No, man. I don't have it here. Why? Why? Why don't I have iTunes? Yeah, I want Windows with Inclinations as well. So we have Viber, nothing from Viber, but nothing from Viber. Okay, OBS properties for music player. Okay, so music 
Let me, uh, No, man, I want it. Yes, delete that. So this guy went in the window capture, right? And we did make source visible. And we went something. We just searched for the Spotify and selected it, but there's nothing like that. So man, it's not working for me. Let's see, I have got two notification and live stream. Come on, it me right. So look at this guy with the live stream. I've been watching this guy for a long time now. Now look at his setup. How does he do that, right? This is something pro level, right, people? <laughs> it's got a microphone right in front of his face and the video is pretty stable so you might be using some external cameras for uh, getting the picture getting the picture right So guys, uh, I'll end up this live session for now. So this is the first time I used OBS uh, and this is how I did it. I'm on a Macintosh with Mojave, it's 2019 and it's working for me. So hasta la vista guys, people see you soon. So how do I end the live streaming? So I don't know, should I? Do it from here. Where is it? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's pause that. And do I have some options here to skip the live streaming? No. So I'll do it from here.